glad to be back at work. It's kind of raining again here in West Monroe. It's going to be a good week. We've got some sewer problems. You know, the same sewer problems we've been dealing with the, over there at Spartan. But we're getting closer to figuring it out. It's going to be a good day. Let's have some fun. Smells like Bucky's in here. I think I might have left that meat sandwich in here or something. Hey, pal. You know, I just want everybody to know how cool this guy is. But he's not as cool as Tate Allen. It's my buddy. It's a good Monday morning, isn't it? It's gonna be a good productive week also. Yeah, it is. I always love this point in the job. Finishing up is my favorite part, not really. Here's a list of what we got to do. We gotta fill this crack. We gotta patch this hole. We gotta scrape this shit off this wall. Some of us on the wall with a sharpie. Gotta caulk this crack. We gotta clean the faucet. And last but, wait, this is not last, but it's the last thing that's gonna be on the sequence. Fix what the hell's going on right here. Oh, and I do feel like it's kinda of important to update you guys on the sewer situation here at Spartan. We just ran another camera down this line here. The line is clearing out. We don't have quite as much water in it, but uh, it's still blocked. We still got a problem here. What we're doing now, we're gonna pull this toilet. Takes in a shitty situation yeah, right now. Can you show a little more butt crack since I'm a plumber now? Hell yeah. Let's see that ass. Damn, that's a good ass. I think I'm gonna start vlogging on one of these things. How much is this? 10,000? That's pretty cheap. So is that poo or mud? Mud poo. <laughs> but in <pretty> good. <laughs> What's it bumping into? There's a little filler right there. Oh, look at that. We can make lunch out of that. Good talk. That is a pipe that the plumber is located on the other side of this. <laughs> we thought it was over here, but it was actually over here. We figured out that the pipe is not collapsed, so the idea now is we're going to be able to run a snake in the pipe right there and clear out whatever's in there. Could be Pooh, could be Jimmy, Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> What we're thinking's happened is the sewer line has gotten clogged up. It goes that way under the golf simulator. We think it's gotten clogged up with paper towels. The other day when we had our big machine over here down into this clean out, we felt like it was hitting something hard, which could have indicated a bigger problem, but we feel like it might've been just going down a different pipe and hitting something else. We don't really know what's going on there. Maybe it had been going up a vent or something weird. We are able to cut into the wall in that back bathroom and run a snake into this main sewer line. We feel like we've got it cleaned out. Good deal on the Home Depot. Maybe like a baby wipe or something? Yeah, that's what it kind of looks like, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, dude. Wow. Okay, that is confirmation that there was something down in the line. Y'all be careful what you flush in these plumbing line towels and rags and evidence and... Okay, half a day later, I'm headed to Home Depot. I meant to be headed to Home Depot like early this morning. That didn't happen. Had a little bit of a shitty situation, but I need to stop at Daily Press to get some spinach stuff wrapped. Spinach turkey wrap, something. Lunchtime today renders Cajun turkey sandwich. Ooh. Half gallon of water. And these Reese's things. Whoop. Do y'all ever lack like so much time that you can't even put mayonnaise and mustard on your sandwich? I'm gonna show you a way to get mayonnaise, mustard, and the sandwich all in one bite without having to take the time to put it all together. Because who has time to food prep like during the day when you're working? Alright, take a bite of the sandwich, open up the mayonnaise package. Open up the mustard, squirt it in your mouth too. Works perfect. This camera's starting to get hard to focus. Really need a lot of crap here at Home Depot. I need one sheet of 3 8 plywood, a box of cut nails, a one tube of glue, FRP corner, five tubes of white caulk, screws for the push pull, floor patch, and cleaning supplies so we can clean up all that doo-doo. <laughs> Uh, a 
Okay, I got everything I need from Home Depot. Now it's time to go back to the job and try to pawn that shit off on somebody else. Those guys were like really looking at me weird. I love it. Hey, Kelly! That's my buddies over there. Some hard working folks over there. You need some help, Steve? I got you covered, bro. You just hit me up, man. Hit me up. As you can see, I'm walking away from them. Hey, Dad, would you have cleaned up that poo? Poo? I don't think so. Attempt number one. Ooh, here we go. Tay! Tay! Where the hell he went? Hey, Tay, can I get you to go clean all that stuff up in that bathroom there? Uh, I'm working on something. Attempt number two. Okay, we got the sewer situation done over there at Spartan. Now we're back over here. We're gonna work on these sinks. And the thing about like when you're when you're working on something that's old or something that's been remodeled several times, you're usually dealing with like one, two, three, four different groups of people that sometimes do a crappy job. And that's kind of what we're dealing with with these sinks. What I had to do was unsecure them, remount them to the, to the bracket. Now I'm having to redo the caulk around the perimeter of the sink. We're gonna do a good job. We're gonna do it the Nelson Builder way, right? Take yep, that's exactly right. <laughs> Time to go home. It's been a real good day, very productive uh, day on the job site. I need to do some more drone action, like some shots of me leaving the job. But last time I tried to fly a drone down Louisville Avenue, it didn't turn out too good. Pimp chopper number one got killed. If I hadn't asked y'all to subscribe today, you know, you know what to do. Something else that happened today. I got like 10 subscribers. Holy crap. I went from like 280 something, 281 to 291. Dude, I'm retiring. I'm retiring. A few moments later. I got home and took a nap and just woke up. It's like 5, 5.30. I was staying up all night editing and then waking up the next morning at like 5 editing. That's pretty tough. I'm gonna figure out the balance. Until then, y'all check out the sunset. <laughs>